the Joe Rogan experience. When you have these moments where things don't go well, where you have a fall or you, when you had your concussion and you got really banged up, overcoming those things, what is that like? Because I would imagine that it's such a scary thing to do. Well, maybe for me, I don't know as much for you, but the, the, I'm watching pictures of you. My hands sweat. <laughs> I, not, like legitimately. Like Alex Honnold freaks me out. Every time I see videos of him, because he's got no, nothing saving him, yeah. my hands start sweating. I, yeah. I can't handle it. No, I think all our hands sweat when we watch him. But <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah, so for me, it's, I think, for example, when I, when I hit my head this time, the time I got the scar, um, I was on one of my day had gone so perfectly like I was climbing super well everything was great I head. there it is ouchie um, yeah that was the rock bottom moment so I was climbing and I was in the sun I slipped off I felt like I was just gonna have a really normal fall super safe like nothing bad was gonna happen and then I hit my head and I instantly like just felt the blood pouring down my face and it was super dramatic and it was super scary and I lowered down and Adrian sort of assessed me for concussion symptoms and tried to you know figure out if there was anything super serious and turns out that there wasn't really um and so it it came time to decide like oh should I keep going or should I should I give up like what you know what what's the best course of action now and honestly in my head I was like part of me was like I don't want to keep climbing like I'm emotionally kind of destroyed and and drained and I don't think I can tell me how it happened like what what I mean, was the sequence of events? I was, so I, I was climbing this pitch and it's a pitch that I've never fallen on before. Um, and the next pitch is the hard one, which is where I think I went wrong because I was sort of thinking ahead. Like mm. I wasn't focusing on what was happening in front of me. I was thinking about the, the next pitch. And I was like, I need to get this one out of the way so that I can focus on the hard one. And therefore I was climbing the sun when it's too hot like the friction's not as good it's more slippery all those things um and i was rushing it i didn't rest enough the friction is not as good when it's hot yeah why you is want that? it to be cold because <clears throat> your skin sweats oh okay it's and just like it? the rubber on your shoes isn't as sticky like it's just oh. the heat the heat radiates off the rock it just gets more slippery like imagine like a a granite face just like baking in the sun like mm. everything's more slippery and you're you're all sweaty and so it's just not ideal. Um mm. and I could have waited but I didn't. So I cl- I was climbing and I was like kind of traversing and so I was trying to do this move and I rushed it and I slipped and I fell. But I had like a piece of gear down into my right and I just didn't I just didn't anticipate like the physics of how I was going to fall and I kind of fell sideways. And I couldn't get my feet out in front of me in time. And we watched the footage later. It was just like, it was kind of like my head just like bounces off the wall, like a, <laughs> like a basketball. <laughs> um, and I must have just hit like a crystal or something with my forehead, like some sort of something sticking out of the rock. Um, and there was just blood everywhere, like head wounds. They just, you know, they bleed, Foreheads, a, they bleed yeah. a lot. Yeah. And so there was a lot of blood and I lowered down and I was super bummed. It was just like my confidence was sort of shattered. Like I could, I just kept thinking back to last year. I was like, oh no, my attempt's over. Everything was going so well. Like this sucks. And I was letting myself go to that place of doubt and that place of like, it's over. It's and done. last year when you hit your head, you hit your head much harder. Last year I fell on the first pitch of the route. Um, so close to the ground. Uh, and, but I fell like 50 feet and I hit a ledge and didn't, the rope like didn't catch me. I hit the ledge because Ooh. I was... Uh, again, rushing and not placing enough protection, and so you fell fifty feet without being caught. Uh huh. Oh hit my a leg. God. Yeah, it was a really, it was pretty gnarly. How I, did you hit it? I I don't remember because I got KO knocked out. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I had this crazy is... rope burn on my neck, and oh my god. Um, yeah, it was it was pretty. I had yeah, we I had to get rescued like full on ambulance to the hospital like spinal injury worries all that it was pretty serious it was definitely the worst accident i've ever had um and it was i walked out of the hospital that day which is incredible like that just doesn't happen very often there's me dressed up like a burrito (laughs) and what so this is when they were carrying you to the hospital yeah that's a rope rope burn oh my god i also don't know how that happened oh wow yeah 
wow. And there's no footage of this, right? You didn't you didn't mm, review footage of it? There's a, well, it was dark when I started climbing. So there actually is footage of uh, Alex Honnold was belaying me. Um, there's footage of him belaying me. What does belay mean? Uh, belaying is the person who holds your rope at the bottom. Oh, okay. So he was like essentially holding my rope. But it's a little bit nuanced because the way we were climbing, we were doing something called simul climbing. Um, we were so we were essentially I was tied onto the top of the rope, he was tied onto the bottom of the rope, and we were climbing together up the wall simultaneously in order to save time. And it's actually it is a more dangerous form of climbing than just like one person climbing while the other person belays them, and then they and then I would stop and bring him up, and then we'd go on from there. Like instead, we were climbing together. Whoa. That makes me nervous just thinking about it. Yeah, it's... So it's, if someone falls, you're kind of connected to them. Yeah, we well, are always connected to somebody when you fall. Um, but if he had fallen, it would... It's it's kind of a complicated form of climbing that not many people do. Um, it's definitely like a, an advanced <laughs> strategy. Mm. Um, but, and so was someone filming? Yeah, I have a, I have a, a filmer who's making like a, a movie about me... Um, and he was filming because he was there filming that attempt. And he was filming Alex as Alex was like sitting on the ground getting ready. And have you reviewed the footage? Yeah. What is it like watching yourself? It's pretty, it's pretty like, dr- it's, it's hard. It was hard. I didn't watch it for the first few months. I was like, I don't really want to How see long it. does it take to fall 50 feet? It would, imagine that's a few seconds. Mm, like a, I don't know. What's the. Um, How fast do you fall? Like, isn't it like not, uh, nine point? Yeah. 9.8 meters per second. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Oof, so it's a couple seconds at least. Yeah. Um at least it felt that way. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> so yeah. So that was that was something like a mental hurdle to get over for this year. And then this year something similar happened, only I was way higher on the wall, but I was really close to succeeding this time. Mm. And I had this part of me was like, "Well, I just want to give up. Like I don't want to do this anymore." I want to be done. Like, was, I'm tired of this project. I'm over it. When you got over the first injury, the, the, the really bad one from last year, what was the, the process of recovery? Like, how long did it take before you felt comfortable enough to climb again? It, you know, I was super lucky. I think I definitely got away with one. It was one of those things where I got away with one. Like, I walked out of the hospital. I was um, back climbing. I, I took, I think I took a month off, but I went to, like, I went to Ecuador and climbed a a volcano with my dad and like went skiing and just did a bunch of things like how long afterwards fine. we went to ecuador like four days later what yeah what kind of crazy father do you have he's awesome <laughs> my dad loves all sports and activities and he's like super passionate about everything and this was his mm. dream was to like go climb this volcano in ecuador and we've been planning it for months and i actually felt that was one of the reasons i felt so bad that i got hurt it was like i was like oh no i'm supposed to go on this trip with my dad and like We had, you know, we had this whole plan. He's been training. He trained like for months. He's 65 years old. Like, you know, it was one of those things. So we Mm. went and we climbed the mountain and like, thankfully I was able to do that with him. It was really cool. What kind of like physical damage did you suffer in terms of like, how long did it take for you to recover? I, I honestly, I would say I felt pretty normal within a month. Real? Yeah. A little back pain. But concussion, right? Concussion. There's yeah, no... the concussion symptoms were a little gnarly for a little while. But four days later, you're climbing a goddamn volcano. Yeah, well, we're headed there. Yeah. <laughs> How long after that before you were actually climbing? I, I, uh, maybe like three weeks. Yeah. So while you were suffering from some, at least, concussion sim- symptoms, you were climbing? Yeah, not recommended. We went to the doctor and she was like, you sh- you can't go to Ecuador. You shouldn't do that. And I was like, yeah, that's nice. Oh. See ya. <laughs> when, when you watch the footage of the fall and you, you know, you see yourself hit the wall and the, just the, the impact and what happened to you, does that it obviously didn't deter you from doing anything, but does it change the way you approach climbing? Uh, yes and no. I, I think the reason that it was a little bit easier for me to overcome that hurdle was because I was, it was really obvious what had gone wrong. And it was really obvious that the, what had gone wrong, wrong was within my control. Like I simply had not placed enough protection for the difficulty of the route. Um, It was an easy, 
easy climbing for me, but it was really dark. It was cold. It was slippery. And I was like, I was just going too fast and not placing enough gear. Episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience are now free on Spotify. That's right. They're free. From September 1st to December 1st, they're going to be available everywhere. But after December 1st, they will only be available on Spotify, but they will be free. That includes the video. The video will also be there. It'll also be free. That's all we're asking. Just go download Spotify. Much love. Bye-bye.